Ephesians chapter 1, verse 1. Paul. That's how his letters begin. So you know it's not Peter, it's not James, it's not John. An apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God. I love this. <sighs> Many people hate Paul, despise him, or they say they give us very wrong information. He was a missionary for the twelve. He wasn't. He was preaching the gospel of Christ. The missionary of preaching the gospel of Christ or people that were preaching the gospel of the kingdom? No. He's an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God. You know that Paul encountered Christ? In the moment when he thought he would never encounter him because he didn't believe that Jesus Christ was resurrected, he thought that Christ was a false messiah, a false prophet, so there you go. According to him, Christ was crucified and he didn't believe in the resurrection like the Pharisees were telling their, his disciples. He hid them the body. But while he was <clears throat> an injurious, a blasphemer, a persecutor of the little flock, on the way to Damascus in Acts 9, the Lord appeared to him. You can go and read in Acts 9. That's a glorious appearing, the first glorious appearing of Christ to the body of Christ, which begins with Paul. What about that? What a concept. And the body of Christ... <clears throat> He's waiting for another appearing, the glorious appearing of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> it's called the blessed hope. We don't know when it's going to happen. Don't believe date setters, but it's going to happen, like everything in the Word of God, because these are the pure words of God. <clears throat> if you don't believe that the King James Bible or the pure preserved Word of God, it's your choice, a wrong one, <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> Poor Apostle Jesus Christ, by the will of God, is writing to the saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Who are the saints? Saint Jerome, Saint Joseph, Saint Philip? No, the, the word saint means somebody that belongs, that's set apart. That's what it is. So forget all these things that you see, you know, Padre Pio, Santo, you know, the Pope, Saint, or the Saint of or Roman Catholic, or Orthodox, or other religion. If you have believed and received the glorious gospel of Christ, you are saved, you are sealed, you are a saint. So it's right into you, it's right into us, the body of Christ, a new creature. <clears throat> For Apostle Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. What is the salutation? Wrath, anger, revenge. You sinner of God to destroy you all? <laughs> Actually, that would be right, because we are sinners, and we all deserve hell and like fire. But, where in the dispensation of grace, Christ died for our sins, praise be to God, on the cross of Calvary, he was buried, rose again third day to justify us, and he revealed this to Paul, and Paul preaches to us, we are under grace, we have the gospel of grace, so the salutation is, grace be to you, praise be to God, almighty God, and peace with, with grace comes always peace peace with god the peace of god the god of peace from god our father now we can call him father do you remember that in the time in which christ was on earth as he said in matthew, in matthew 15 24 i've been sent my only to the lost sheep of the house of israel and he taught the prayer our father to his disciples was not his prayer because he's not a sinner is you know they they, they should have, they had to ask forgive us our sins as we forgive others according to the covenant. Just one thing you know, we are already forgiven for Christ's sake, so we can learn now to forgive others because we we are already forgiven. So we shouldn't hold uh, you know grudge against people. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father. Isn't that glorious? I can call God my Father, my heavenly Father, in Christ, because of Christ. I can say, thank you, Father, for what you have accomplished by the cross of Christ. To save a good for nothing like me. Thank you, Lord. 
and from the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Savior, he is the Redeemer, he is the head of the body. That's how we know him now. Yes, we know he's the Messiah of Israel, no problem about that. We know he's the Messiah, the King, the Shepherd, the High Prophet, the High Priest, the Prophet, the Hope of Israel. But they rejected him, except the little flock. So it's going to come a second time for them and save the remnant. All Israel shall be saved, those who believe, the Israel of God. But for us, is the Savior and the Redeemer is the Savior of our soul and the Redeemer and is the head of the body, which is the revelation of the mystery. A new creature that God has been forming in the last 2,000 years through the preaching of the gospel of grace through the Apostle Paul. And you want to be blessed? Don't go to read the book of Revelation to be blessed. Or don't bless Israel to be blessed. Don't be an enemy of the cross. Don't bypass the cross. Just believe. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, the Godhead is here. Blessed be the God, as will be the Holy Ghost. And Father, that God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the word that became a man, you know, incarnated. The Lord, the Savior, now at the right hand of the Father in heavenly places, who has blessed us. You know, when people say, bless me, Father, bless me, God, bless me, Lord, bless me. So, uh, wait a second. I already blessed you. Really? Well, look here. I'm Italian, can't speak English very well. But I can understand that has blessed us is past tense. It's a done deal. How? With all, with all, or with all, with all, I got to underline this, not some, all. <laughs> Praise God. What? Spiritual blessings. Spiritual blessings. Oh no, I want physical, material, earthly, tangible blessings. I need money. I need a new car. I need a job. Yes, just a moment. Ah, praise the Lord. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings, plural. So the blessings are spiritual and are in heavenly places in Christ. What is that? It's written. Heavenly places in Christ. I'm going to be very short, but one thing I can tell you. Without Christ, nothing happens. If you don't believe the gospel of the grace of God in Christ, nothing good happens for you. You want to be saved? Be serious. You want to be saved because you don't know how long you're going to be on this earth? Get saved now. By doing what? Nothing. <laughs> but believing and receiving by grace through faith, by grace through faith, no works is the work of God. How that? Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scripture. So let's read again this. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So the apostle now, our apostle, preacher and teacher of the Gentiles, Paul, is in a moment of great joy, blessing God. I mean, the Lord <laughs> is the blessed. is the blessed God, you know. But he said, oh Lord, you know, would be, wow, bless, blessed be you, God. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us? We don't deserve it. We never did. We never will. But it's by grace. It's because of Christ. With all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. According as it shows in us in him before the, the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Now, it's only a question that God has chosen some to be saved and some to go to hell. That's Satan. That's Calvinist. Forget it. Chosen us in him. That's it, in Christ, in the body of Christ. So you want to be part of the chosen? Believe the gospel of Christ. Objective purpose, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestinated us, the body of Christ is predestinated, it's got a destiny in advance, unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ himself. I mean, this makes me... I would like to scream, but then they say, oh, well, I want to scream. Thank you, Lord. 
having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved. That's the first letter of the alphabet. Alpha, O A, accepted. It's not you accepting Christ. You see, the, this religion reverses everything. It's upside down. Oh, accept Jesus into your heart. Why should he come in your heart? It's corrupt. What about you believe what Christ has done on your behalf? He died for your sins, you know, all of them. Past, present, future. He was buried, rose again, third day to justify you. When you believe, this becomes a reality and the Holy Spirit of God seals you. Until the day of the redemption of the precious possession is the spirit of promise, Ephesians 1.13. And he done this to the praise of the glory of his grace. And I finish with this. To the praise of the glory of his grace. Fix this in your heart. Everything God has done through Christ, by Christ, for Christ, is to the, play, uh, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he, he, that's God, that's an operation of God, you understand? They made us. Unworthy, ungodly, sinners, we don't deserve anything. Yeah, by His grace, accepted in the beloved. Grace and peace to all.